Good morning. My name is Carla DePriest. And I'm Phil DePriest. Welcome to day six of 21 Days of Breakthrough Prayer with the Pentecostals of Murfreesboro and Life Bridge Church. I'm glad you could join us. We encourage you to go back and catch up on the previous days if you haven't already. I hope that you not only read today's devotion, but that you read every scripture reference, <laughs> please. Today's writer is probably correct when he states that we love it when God answers our prayer in ways that make our life more pleasant or pain-free. You know, the concept behind the daily prayer in the Lord's Prayer has a lot to do with scriptural things instead of uh, like whole wheat or white or something like that. <laughs> we do live in a culture, and I tend to embrace this, that has an aversion to suffering. Uh, it seeps into our prayer life, and we pray to escape suffering rather than embrace discipleship. You know, in the scriptures, when we read in the scriptures, we'll find that more often than not, they were praying for the spreading of the gospel, the further to the gospel's sake. That's true. And if we pray Bible prayers, we will pray for boldness, we'll pray for fearlessness, to deliver the gospel to those in our lives. You know, we love, we believe in the power of prayer mm -hmm. to heal, to deliver, and to bless. But if we pray for healing and folks are healed. All right, come on. <laughs> if we pray for deliverance and folks are delivered. Yes. If we pray for blessings and folks are blessed. Come on now. And yet the healed, the delivered, and the blessed are not given gospel truth. What have we accomplished? Come on now. <laughs> we need to review our prayer journals. I did, and we need to make sure our prayers align with Bible prayers, prayers for the sake of the gospel. We should listen to ourselves pray as well. We should listen to our own words. We might be surprised that we're actually hearing come out of our own mouths. That's true. I'd like to give a quick testimony and a shout out to my Tuesday prayer ladies. Months ago, Marie Rogers requested prayer for a neighbor of hers that was seriously ill. The ladies prayed. We prayed not only for healing for Judy, but we prayed that Judy would receive the gospel. When God answered our healing prayer, Judy came, Judy repented, and Judy received the baptism of the Holy Ghost in a Sunday service. The next Tuesday, she was baptized in the name of Jesus. This is what happens when we pray for the sake of the gospel. In Colossians chapter four, verses three and four, Paul, in prison, asked the church to pray. He didn't ask them to pray that he would be released from prison. He asked that God would open a door for him to minister, to declare Christ. And in one translation, it says to make the gospel clear. Let's pray that prayer today, that we would carry the gospel. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you so much for this day that you've given us another day that we can live and we can enjoy life with you. We pray, Lord God, that you would help the gospel to be opened up to people around us. Yes. That as we open the gospel to people around us, they would be able to understand and to hear the words. We pray that your kingdom would come in the lives of people all over this world today because of our prayers. We pray this in Jesus' name, and amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for day six, for the sake of the gospel. Take some time today to read the devotional and those scripture references, if you haven't already. Join us live again tomorrow at 7 a.m. for day seven, as we discuss the, the secret, secret gospel. The secret closet. Okay. <laughs> Oh, have a good day.